So, okay. Let's see, here's one of Mother Panther Swirls. Babies here. Hope I've got enough light over here. I'll get some light over here. This Kodak Health C55, I'll tell you what. Oh Lord. Here, I'll bring some light in here in my drop lot. See if this will get it. Okay, there's one of the babies right there. It's sleeping. The other two, let's see, one's down here. See if I'm getting them. Hey, baby. Man, uh, over here, you know, I've got like a bowl of milk, so cut up pieces of sirloin water and uh, meow mix. So they've been eating good and drinking milk. Okay. They were up here. They slept by me for about three hours, even though I didn't sleep good. Because I would, <laughs> I'd almost fall asleep and then I would wake up to the realization that Mother Panther Swirl was murdered by those two dogs this morning. Oh boy. Here's Mother Panther Swirl. I've got her laid. <sighs> On a pillow and a towel. Now she looks pretty rough here, but it's because of what those, those were two very large dogs, very vicious. They had her up in the air pulling her from both ends, broke her left leg. There's her beautiful face. Uh, I'll probably bury her body. Oh, in about three days, I suppose. You know, and if I, I can't do it then, you know, I believe I'll bury my own. I've buried some pets on my property before. You know, I'm, I keep them close. I bury my own. Uh, oh, my God. But anyway, you know, I said in my last video, I said, oh my God, uh, you know, Jesus Christ, I don't want to live anymore. But I guess this is my answer from Jesus Christ. Mother Panther Swirl would want me to live to take care of her babies here. Because they'd be killed too if they was outside. And I'm retired. You know, I'm... I'm gonna feed them good. They've got milk. One's over there drinking milk. Right now. The other's laying up here, sort of looking around. One's down. They're at peace. Occasionally, occasionally, they look for their mama. But then I'll go, everything's okay. And, you know, I'll pick them up, bring them back up to the recliner, you know, pet them, and then they'll handle it fine. They've been playing together, wrestling around. So, you know, they'll get used to her not being there. It'll be hard on them, but they'll make it because they eat good. Because they can chomp through those pieces of sirloin steak, man. <laughs> oh, wow. And that's what I felt it fed Mother Panther's world for the past 12 years. Cats are meat eaters, you know. Uh, regardless of their size, they're tigers. They are tigers. <sighs> I guess I'm a tiger too. I'm a meat eater. You know, except I, uh, you know, in my spare time, I like to sit here and eat crunchy peanut butter, but... Oh, I've heard wrestlers like that, uh, cause uh, each tablespoon is 150 calories, and it's supposed to be very good for you, you know. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
This is very hard. God, this is hard. You know, Mother Fan for Swirl being here with me for 12 years, but I know if she could talk to me what she would want. Take care of my babies. Take care of my three babies. Because she constantly tended to them, constantly. <sighs> oh, my God. Well, anyway, this is Earl out for right now. Help me, Jesus Christ. 